open up a suitable browser. Here I'm using Windows Edge. And if you look here, you can see the URL. Go to this page and you can look here and you can see it says Visual Studio 2022. If you scroll down, you can see there are a number of things that you can actually download. If we look to this here where it says Visual Studio Code, I would like to point out that that is not what I'm attempting to download. I'm attempting to download Video Studio, which is the full IDE. This is essentially a code editor. You can see here there is a Visual Studio for a Mac. I'm going to scroll back up because the one I am interested in is this one here. To download Video Studio, you come here and you can see you have three choices, Community, Professional and Enterprise. Go with this one here, because if you look what it says here, it's telling you it's free for individual developers, academic uses and open source. If you look at this one, you can see it's a free trial for individual use. And if you look at this one, it's a free trial for organisations. I wouldn't bother loading either of those down because it is a trial and therefore time limited. You may as well go with this one because it's free for individual developers and it's not got a limit on how long you can use it for. So this would be the better one to choose. So what you do, you come across to here and you'll see a drop down menu appear. Click on the community one and wait and you will see here it starts telling me that it is downloading. It's now downloaded, so I can now come here and click on Open File, and I'll wait to see what happens. You will be presented with this, and it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And you can see it's got no selected, just in case you wish to come out of this. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the Yes, and then you can see here, it's starting to download and install. Now this is going to take a while, it depends on the speed of your computer. So I'm going to pause at this point the video and wait until it is finished. This shows a point where it's downloaded and installed and you can see it's now getting the Video Studio installer ready. So I'll pause again and wait till something else happens. This now appears and you can see here it says getting things ready so I'll just pause the video. I've restarted the video to show you the progress. And if you look here, you can see we have got 1% of the downloading taking place and it's verifying various things as it's doing so. And if you look here, it's saying 28 megabytes of 1.49 gigabytes. So there's quite a while to go when you look at the download speed here. And of course, down here, you can see it's installing package 15 of 382. So it's got some way to go. But if you notice here, it says start after installation. So I'm going to allow that to remain because what will happen when it's finished installing, Visual Studio will start to boot up and we can see what it looks like. It's been going now for quite a few minutes, maybe four or five minutes, and you can see here it's at 4%, and down here we're at 1%. This has just creeped up to 5%. You can expect to take a while for this to download, and it'll depend upon your internet speed and obviously the power of your computer. You can see it's still downloading, and it's up to 16% here and 7% there, so it's quite a while to go. And that pause of the video was for around six minutes then. Well, I'm going to press pause again now. We can see from the progress bars that it's almost finished. So let's see what happens. And you can see it says here installing. This may take a while. And looking here, you can see it's been completely downloaded. So let's, uh, let's wait and see what happens. And I'll return to the video when it happens. It then comes to this here where it says sign into Visual Studio and it allows you to sync your settings across devices. You can collaborate in real time with LiveShare and you can integrate seamlessly um, with these services. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to come down here and say not now, maybe later and we'll see what happens. It comes to this screen and it is asking me to choose an environment. Do I want a dark environment or do I want a blue environment? 
and it says here you can always change these settings later if i scroll down here you can see there's a choice of a number of settings if i come up to this you can see it says general now i'm going to click on it and it says you can choose the following now what i want to do i want to download it to use it with visual basic so i'm not going to go for a general setup i'm going to go for a visual basic setup so now i've chosen visual basic and then i'm going to click onto here and start visual studio and then it says we're preparing for first use this may take a few minutes so i'll pause again and let's see what it does now in here i can choose a recent application but clearly i don't have any yet because i've just downloaded it if you look here i'm going to slide this down you can see i have a number of choices i can come here and uh, click create a new project here i can say continue without code so i'm going to click on that one and this is what i get and i can see that that is the uh, environment now the next thing is how do we go about using this well that will come up in the next videos